It's finally here, Anime Last Stand, the game that we literally just shared with you guys a few days ago is out. Anime Last Stand was supposed to come out yesterday, but they had an issue, so they were unable to release the game then. But here we are, finally able to play it in all its glory. Now, the moment it released, it is at like, I don't know, I want to say like over four, five, six hundred players already, which I think is pretty darn crazy, but we're loading in, and there we go. Day one experience, look at all these people. Bands is in our server right here, which is nice. So what we wanna do real quickly, immediately, of course, as we play the game, is summon, of course. Summoning is going to be, obviously, how we're gonna get the units, duh. So let's go ahead and go here, TP to the summon area. What do we got in the banner? We got Sukuna! Sukuna Matata. Yeah, we got Sukuna here for the first mythical unit. Let's do a 10 times summon, see what I can get. So we got a rare Sanji, rare Nami, rare Sanji, Nami. All right, game. We're not going to do this just rare thing again, are we? There we go. We got the Demon Leg Epic. Oh, the Epic Luffy as well. Nice. Okay, so we got a few Epics there. Oh, quite a few of the Luffys. Let's check out the game passes real quick. We have VIP 1. Of course, we're going to get that. 10% summon cost is down. 50 backpack space, 2 gold gain in chamber, and plus 1 end roll gain in chamber as well. And then the same thing happens with the uh, VIP 2s. So we're going to get VIP 2 here right now. Boom. Perfect. The starter pack will give you guys an Escanor farm unit. So we definitely are going to need a farm unit. Hi. Everyone's like saying it's still low. Yeah, let's get the this one right there. And then finally for the last thing, we need the mount pack right there. The mount pack costs a thousand Roblox. Oh, it's coming soon. Gives 500 emeralds for now. I think the game kind of just crashed. So, uh, hold, uh, hold on. I think I crashed. We're loading back into any last stand. I was trying to get all the game passes and stuff. And then it kind of just, uh, Shut me up. I don't know what's going on. I think I just kind of like crashed right there, but I got almost all the game passes here. There is one more game pass we still have to get. Oh, look at my head bobbing as we're running. Okay, there's one more game pass we gotta get, which is the mount one, which is only gonna give you guys 500 emeralds for now. But hey, 500 emeralds is gonna be another multi summon here. So let's go ahead and TP to the summon. It actually didn't give me 500 emeralds. Okay, let's do the next multi here. We got Sanji. Oh, we got the Wind Pillar! Legendary! Okay, that is actually pretty cool. I was not expecting to get in there, so... Wind Pillar, Legendary character, nice. What else can we get? Can we get the Sukuna character, maybe? I mean, we're, we're probably not gonna get that lucky, but, uh... Yeah, there's, a uh, Luffy, everyone's just, uh... Standing here now, okay. Uh, uh... Sanji, please, give me something else. Please. No. 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 All right, there's a new code you guys can use. Sub to B M G T O R N E N T R 117 on YT. That is such a long code. That'll give you guys actually a few summon things. So make sure to use that code right there. Let's do another multi. We did get the legendary. I'm trying to get myself the new mythical Sakuna there so we can see how good he is. But you might just have to use the legendary here. Uh, Nami. No, Sanji, and all right, we got one more multi, I think. Yeah, we got one more multi because everything costs 400 now that I got the game passes. And yeah, it's not looking too good. But hey, at least we're going to get the featured Escanor unit, and we're also going to get the wind character as well, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and do the reroll system here, the techniques, reroll, select wind pillar, and let's reroll once. We got accelerate one, reroll again, sturdy one, sturdy one, sturdy two. Okay, we're gonna leave 32 actually. Uh, where's our Escanor? There's our Escanor Pride Starter, Accelerate one. Sure, let's just leave it at that. And then our final roll, let's just do a roll on Luffy. Oh my gosh, I got something called Eagle Eye. Okay, so go to our units. Let's equip our Wind Pillar, our Luffy, our Pride. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fuse everything. Oh, I gotta unequip the unit to do that. Uh, unequip all, okay. Let's fuse everything I got into him to level him up a little bit, so. Goodbye, all my common characters. You guys were, you know, you're just gonna be here for now and I'm not gonna use you. Fuse, confirm. That gets in level 25. We can take a look at his skill tree here. So you can see with the skill trees, you're gonna need certain numbers of kills to upgrade everything. So we gotta keep using him. And then uh, Luffy, let's go ahead and fuse everything else into him. Uh, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Fuse that, level 15, let's fuse into him. I hope he does some damage, because I'll be kind of upset if he doesn't uh, fuse. And then finally, oh, we got two Pride the Ones, because we used the game 
pass, I guess, because we got both the game passes. Okay. Uh, anyways, there we go. Fused. Nice. Now we can equip our team, and let's go into the game load and check it out with our friends here. Equip you, equip you, and uh, that should be good right there. Yeah, there we go. We're loading into the game. We got the Naruto world over here. We got ourselves the legendaries. I think we all got the legendary characters here. So it's all basically going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go ahead and actually start by spawning Escanor and just focusing on Lenny. Cause I don't know if you guys remember, I actually, oh gosh, why? Why does he look like this? This is actually kind of cool, but like, why is he so big? <laughs> I was not expecting Escanor to be this big, guys. Uh, anyways, uh, Escanor is a cash money making unit, you know, that it takes to the energy to the Russo kind of stuff. And he looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to place more than one of him as well, which is gonna be insane. So, see if I can place more than one. Yep, I can place a second Escanor, I can place a third Escanor, I can make so much money that I place in these Escanors down. I just don't know if they're actually, like, giving me any cash exactly. One, two, three, oh my gosh. We literally have four Escanors down already, and it's, it's, what? Nah, these guys take up way too much space. Four, okay, so four is the maximum numbers of Escanors that you can actually place down. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little time lapse here, max out all my money units, and then we'll be back once we can start upgrading our units to see just how OP this new uh, legendary character is and whatnot. But guys, hope you're excited, the game is finally out, and we're gonna keep playing it, but uh, yeah. Anyways, time lapse, go! I maxed out my money, like four Escanors. They took me 10 waves to max all these Escanors out, so that kind of sucks. But I am making a good amount of cash here, so what I can do is, wait, can I hide other people's UIs off? Uh, unit VFX, okay, I don't know if I can or not, but anyways, let's place the Wind Hashira down right here. On placement, there he is. What does he do? 200, oh, he's a line attacker, 200 damage, and he's bleeding? Oh, he's bleed! He is bleed! Okay, that's actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. So, there he is on placement. Upgrade once, twice, 15 range, three times is 6,000. Fourth upgrade is 3,000. There's so many upgrades, and he's so expensive. But at this upgrade here, it looks like he's full AoE, actually. I, I think he's full AoE. That's pretty crazy if he's full AoE. So, first, last, closest, strongest, weakest. Doesn't seem like he hits any flying types, but uh, yeah, look at this guy. Look at this dude. Yeah, he's definitely full AoE. Wow, that is pretty darn cool. There he is maxed out doing 5,000 damage every 50, or every six seconds with 15 range. Pretty darn cool. I didn't get to see what Luffy does, so I'm gonna place a Luffy down. Why does Luffy have 28 range and he's lane? Holy smokes. Luffy looks pretty crazy himself too. I did get like these passives on the units, guys, but I don't know what the passives do, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out eventually in the future here. But honestly, the game's looking pretty good. It definitely feels a lot better to play this with friends. Um, it was very hard to do this by myself the other day. It felt a little bit too difficult, but yeah, and they able to max everything out. So I got Sanji like this uh, light Godspeed passive. So look at his, oh my gosh, he's a two second SPA. And I think he's like fully away at this upgrade. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now there's a circle four second SPA. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, guys. The game feels relatively decently flowy, so yeah, that, that's gonna be it for this video, I think. I'm just letting you guys know the game's out. I'm gonna keep grinding it. I'll get some more units, better teaching green top of Russo kind of stuff, and I'll see you guys later. All right, I'll, that's it, that's it, that's it. I already said I'll see you guys later, okay? Goodbye.